I mean, it was just three of us, so we had no other machines. I knew that if this thing flipped, uh, this job could have gone sideways real quick. It was, uh, we, we needed it on site. My name is Justin and I own J. Smith Construction. In the summer of 2021, we were hired to build a cottage in Kenora, Ontario. The project was uh, on Echo Bay of Lake of the Woods. So typically most of my work in Winnipeg, this project that came up uh, was for a friend of a friend and uh, it was a cool, it was gonna be a cool project, very different, very unique. So uh, this cottage had exposed glue lamps and cedar uh, for the subfloor deck on top of the ceiling. And on top of that, there were multiple layers of foam. So it was not your conventional build. So, I mean, we specialize in custom framing. Um, so he knew that I was more than capable of doing the work. Um, he could have asked anybody, um, but uh, he had asked me to uh, do him a favor and you know spend uh, the summer framing this cottage for him. Um, there was also forest fires happening that year. I think uh, the year before was a very dry year. It hadn't rained a lot, and I know forest fires were happening all over Ontario. Fires can spread fairly quickly, very quickly actually. And when we started uh, on day one, it was very smoky. Um, there were warnings about forest fires in the areas. Nothing very, very close. But forest fires, they they spread real quick. So um, we had. We kept an ear out um, you know, on the news, the radio, make sure that uh, we weren't in the zone where we would have to evacuate. The difficulty about working uh, where we were is reception was very, very bad. Um, we had next to no bars um, of cell reception. And uh, so being out there was one thing, but managing my company and my business while I'm outside in the middle of nowhere was very, very difficult. I couldn't make calls during. Um, during the work, during the day, um, there's actually maybe one little area on site where you had to sit there without moving and you're able to get one bar and make a quick phone call and you'd hope that uh, it wouldn't cancel on you. So even before the whole thing started, um, there was just a lot of moving parts and there's just a lot of uncertainty. So, funny story, uh, a week before I was scheduled to start the framing, my machine broke down. Um, so it was a scramble getting that fixed. My mechanic was able to pull through. We had to make sure that the boom was going to be delivered on time. Um, that was going to be a necessity because the driveway was so long. I know access was going to be very difficult. It was very narrow. It was uh, windy. Um, half the material had to get dropped off at the front. So that was something that we had to plan and organize prior to starting. And then once it arrived, we noticed that on the right side of the machine, the tires are halfway off the deck. So I guess during transportation, it had shifted over and it was quite a bit up on the deck. So in order to roll it off, we were worried that, and we were parked on the, on the hill, we were worried that by backing it up, it was gonna flip over into the ditch. So I had me, myself, and another guy, and the driver. Um, we had straps, we had chains, we hooked it up to a tree just to wedge it over in order to reverse it off the deck and the ramps. Yeah, so this machine weighs, with the equipment, about 30,000 pounds. I mean, it was just three of us, so we had no other machines. I knew that if this thing flipped, uh, this job could have gone sideways real quick. It was, uh, we, we needed it on site. I was already planning for the worst. I mean, during the time we were trying to pull it off, I was like, man, I'm gonna have to rent another machine. Um, am I gonna rent one in Winnipeg? Am I gonna rent one in Kenora? Yeah, it was a scary time, um, but it somehow managed. We, we fudged it, we turned the tire and you know took our time and it all worked out. So I had planned to complete the job in six weeks and it was just me and two other employees. So we, I would say we did the bulk of it in about five weeks. And during that time, um, when windows and doors uh, were scheduled to arrive, I had invited two other guys to help us unload and install, and as well as my father. So the windows that were delivered for this job were massive. Um, you know, they, they all came all at once on a big truck, and it took probably four, maybe five guys to unload. The delivery driver, I mean, normally they do it, but it was just one guy, so. It took, I would say, at least half a day just to unload because these are giant wood tri-pane windows. We were working long hours. We were working from seven to seven on average. Um, but in order to get this project going um, and complete it in time, we, we were working Monday to Friday, 
Monday to Thursday, seven to seven, and then Fridays we'd work probably eight hours. Um, then we'd leave late mid afternoon and be time, um, be home in time for, for dinner. So for the whole project, we were working still five days a week, 12 hour days. And then the days that did rain um, and pour, we, uh, we would just take the day off. So it would, every day we took off, just push the project that much further. And uh, you know, I didn't know if it was gonna affect my other jobs coming up, but we, we pushed through and ended up working 12 hour days just to be able to complete in time. Luckily, this job went uh, relatively well. Nothing is perfect, but it went well. Um, but if things did go sideways, especially when you're working in the middle of nowhere, you're nowhere near a hospital, um, you're short material, you're waiting days, and you're having guys stand around, do nothing. Um, so it's very important that we were organized um, from the very beginning. The job had to go smooth. Um, I wanna say that every job has to go smooth. Usually they do, but when they don't, it definitely affects your schedule for whatever you got booked after this one job.